Hey guys, I'll be here and welcome back to your Python series. In this video, we're going to be learning about while loops and control statements. Both of them very, very important things in the field of Python, understanding loops, so on and so forth. Now, what are while loops? While loops are a type of loop that continue to run until the condition becomes false. They're very useful when you don't know how many times you're trying to iterate. Maybe it's five times, maybe it's 10 times, maybe it's dependent on the user. Basically, when that condition you have becomes false, then the while loop stops running. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a counter called C, set it equal to zero. While C is less than five, again, note the syntax, while, then your condition, then a colon. I'm gonna go ahead and print out C, and then say C is equal to C plus one. If you don't specify C is equal to C plus one, then our C will remain zero. And zero is always gonna be less than five, so this condition will always be true and will cause our computer, our pie charm, everything to crash. Okay, so always make sure that somehow, somewhere, your condition over here is becoming false. All right, so that's basically while loops in a nutshell, guys. Very, very straightforward. Okay, you have a condition, make sure the condition is false, and the while loop will always run this code until the condition is false. What's more interesting, however, are the three control statements you use in loops. These three control statements are very useful in changing the path a loop normally takes. The first one is break. So let's go ahead and reset. C is, C is equal to zero. While C is less than five, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and print C. And then I'm gonna say if C is equal to three, break. So break is the first control statement we are learning today. Okay, so we have zero, one, two, three, and then the code stops working. As you guys can probably tell, what does break do? It terminates the loop. So we have C1, C0, C1, C2, C3. When C is equal to three, it breaks. So it terminates the while loop and then this code stops running. So break is very useful when you've gotten the result you wanted or you've gotten the output you needed and now you just wanna stop the loop, that's when you use break. The second statement is continue. You use the continue statement when you don't want the rest of the code in your while loop to run, but you want it to continue iterating. To give you an example, let's go ahead and reset. C is equal to zero. While C is less than five, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and say, if C is equal to three, continue, otherwise, print C, C is equal to C plus one. Okay, um, I did make a mistake here, but I want you guys, just looking at this code, tell me what's gonna happen. When C is equal to three, Three is gonna be equal to three, that's true. It's gonna continue, it's gonna skip all this code. Then it's gonna come back over here. Three is equal to three, continue, skip all this code. It's gonna be recursive and our code is probably gonna crash. Okay, so as you can see, it hasn't terminated and our code is still running and it's basically stuck in this loop. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna stop this and restart this, okay? And let's go ahead and do that again and I'll show you what I did wrong. So while C is less than five, first we have to increment. The first thing we have to do is say C is equal to C plus one, okay? And then we can say if C is equal to three, continue, otherwise print C. Now what's gonna happen is it's gonna say one, two, hits three, but when three is equal to three, which is true, it continues, i.e. it skips this line of code and goes back to the top. Then it increments it, C is now four, and then it prints out four, then five. That's continue. And last but not least, pass. Pass is by far, it's just a fun fun sort of statement you can use in while loops or in for loops. And basically what it does is you can say, while C is less than five, C is equal to C plus one, okay? If C is equal to three, pass, otherwise print C. So it works similarly, okay? So what happened over here is, the pass function is basically a filler sort of null statement, okay? It doesn't have any action, it doesn't do anything. It basically allows you to put in some filler code. If you don't know what you're gonna write, but you know there needs to be some code there, you can put pass, all right? So again, repeating the three statements, you have break, continue, and pass. The break statement is used in order to terminate the while loop or for loop. The continue statement is used to skip the remaining code and go back to the head of the loop. And the pass statement is a statement where you just have nothing. It's a filler sort of statement where you can put anywhere in your code 
just so that it looks nice, it looks neat, and maybe later on you can add some functionality to it. Recapping on while loops, just remember that the condition you have in your while loop must be false at one point in time, otherwise your while loop will become an infinite loop. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.